If your microwave is leaving behind way too many kernels in your bag of popcorn, or your favorite TV dinners are still coming out frozen in the middle, it's time to take action. I'm Paul Blake for Repair.com with some tips to help you get back to successfully heating meals in the microwave. There are issues you can correct yourself, some you can have professionally repaired, and some that will have you considering a new microwave. First, a warning. Microwaves contain high voltage parts that can be deadly even when unplugged, unless handled correctly. Unless you're a qualified expert, don't attempt to get into its inner workings. Before you spend any time or money, make certain your microwave has a real problem. The best way to check is by heating water. Fill a glass measuring cup with water to the one cup mark. Put the cup in the microwave and set it to heat on full power for one minute. Repeat the process with fresh water several times. If the water is not consistently warm, you've confirmed there's a problem. If your microwave is failing to heat correctly, you may be on a previously programmed setting. Press the stop cancel button and start the heating process again, but use a higher power setting. This may correct the problem. Otherwise, there may be an issue with the circuit board and its connections. If a qualified professional determines that the circuit board is defective, the most practical fix may be to buy a new microwave. Microwaves installed above the range may be affected by steam from cooking. Condensation collecting on the circuitry can interrupt heating. Allow the circuitry to dry out by avoiding stovetop cooking for a few days. If you're still having the same problem, it could be a loose connection in the circuitry or a faulty door safety switch. A qualified professional can repair or replace the malfunctioning parts. A buzzing or humming microwave that emits a faint burning smell could signal a damaged magnetron, high voltage capacitor, or diode. Replacement magnetrons are expensive, so if a service professional determines that's the problem, you may be better off buying a new microwave. Capacitor and diode parts cost much less, but remember, you'll be paying for the expertise to have them installed correctly and safely. It may still make more sense to buy a new microwave, especially if it's a simple countertop model. Never slam the microwave door, even if you're in a hurry, and always hit the stop cancel button before you open the door to remove food. These steps will prevent damage to the door safety switch, and that's crucial because microwaves are designed not to work when the safety switch is damaged. Remember, microwaves are too dangerous to try fixing solo. Visit Repair.com to contact a qualified professional or for more tips and troubleshooting advice.